you want one? Yes, oh, you're the one that flipped me off as you were coming in. That was very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like one too? No. Okay. So is that is that usually the way they teach you how to um, have discussion, have logical, knowledgeable discussions by flipping people off? I thought that you guys love Trump hate. I thought that's how that worked. I'm just an angry person. Oh, well, you know, Jesus Christ can heal you with that too. And the truth of the matter is, unless you do repent and seek his forgiveness, you are under his condemnation. The truth of the matter is, is that you love your darkness more than your light. You have a shirt that says, I am enough. You are far from enough. You're far from enough. Right now, you sit under his condemnation and under his wrath. And unless you are covered by the righteousness of his son, you are covered in the blood guilt of your sin. And the wages of that sin is death, eternal. You can make little faces, okay? When you stand before God, he's really not going to be interested. He's not going to be interested. Well, you know, you don't have to believe in gravity either, but if you jump out of a plane, I guarantee you, you will hit the ground. Then I'll hit the ground. That's right, you will. And I don't want to see you perish. I don't want to see you go to hell. But the truth of the matter is, unless you come to him on his terms, that's where you're headed. God's word is very clear that the wages of sin is death. And it's not death like you think, like you're gonna to go to sleep and that's the end. You're gonna live forever. But the place where you live is going to be determined by what you do. That's funny because you say I'm going to live forever, but I consider myself an agnostic atheist. So I believe my body's going to rot in the ground. I don't believe in any forever. Well, you could believe what, like I said, you can believe whatever you want. Okay? But God's word says that you will be risen and then you will be judged. It's if, he, if you uh, die bef before he comes again. I just have one question. Please. Sure. Um, do the students know that they're being filmed without their permission? Yep, I'm wearing a camera right here. You're in a public place in Texas. You're in a public place. So you do not have any expectation of privacy. I was just making sure. Sure. Thank you for t for clearing that up. Okay, because now we have that on film also. All right. But I really, I really wish you would consider where you are going to spend eternity, because God's word says the second you die, you are absent from the body, and you will be present in front of God. I know. God's word said, I used to be a Christian myself. No, you didn't, ma'am. You, you used to maybe play Christian, but you weren't a Christian. See, if you're a Christian, you're a Christian. Okay? You don't change Christians like you change your clothes. Okay? God's word law, his, his law says to love everybody no matter what. And see, what you're saying here is telling me that you don't love everybody. Oh, actually, I do, ma'am. And it's because I come to you in love. That's what a friend does and tells you the truth. If you were running towards the edge of a cliff, for me to sit here and say keep going that's not love love will tell you there's a cliff and if you keep going you're gonna fall off that cliff that's what love does a friend comes to you in love and tells you the truth in the hope that you will repent and turn from your sin someone who doesn't love you will comfort you and say hey what you do is okay what you flipping me off hey that's no problem that's cool thumbs up that's what somebody who doesn't really care about you will do and I care about you. I care enough about you to tell you the truth. Because if you do not repent, you might die today. You do not know that. God's word says you are not guaranteed one more minute. It's guaranteed 100 out of 100 people will die. And when they die, they will stand immediately before God. And if you are covered by the righteousness of his son, you are saved. But if you go there and you say, look what I did. Look at all the good things I did. It is the proud person, it is the boastful person that professes in their own righteousness that he despises. That's what his word says. You want to preach love, love. Yes, God is a love of mercy. He is a love of a God of grace, a God of forgiveness. But he is also a holy and righteous God. And he cannot and will not be in the presence of sin. It's impossible. And just like he is a holy and righteous judge, he will judge you rightly. Not according to your opinion. That's like saying if you uh, uh, punch this guy in the face and you get arrested for it and you go before the judge here in Frisco or wherever and say, yeah, but I had a good reason. And he says, oh, okay, no problem. He would not be a good judge. That judge would convict you. 
See, why would I punch my friend in the face? I have no idea. I was using that as an example. Okay? All right, we'll use this. If you punched me in the face because you showed how much you loved me by what you did and said on your way in. All right? So, you know, you, you profess love. That's like, it's the biggest hypocrisy. You guys are the biggest tolerant, post, most tolerant, most loving people who actually have the most hate in your hearts. And I pray to God you repent from that because if you don't, it'll eat you alive. And when you stand before God, the very best, I mean, you, you could be Mother Teresa and you'll go to hell because God's word, so be it. A place where you will burn for eternity. People like you are already saying I'm going to hell anyway, so so be it. I'm fine. No, people like us are warning you, okay? And I will continue to warn you because I care enough. If he cared enough, he would be warning you. If she cared enough, she would be warning you. If they cared enough, they would be warning you. But I do care enough because I am warning you. My friends care plenty. Do they? Yes, they do. And they, they comfort no you in your sin? You. And they comfort you in your sin? They do. That's like people saying, oh, you, you love me so much that you'll actually hold my hand on the way to hell. That's love? Maybe for me it is. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, when you stand before God, even that will not stand. The best of your good works will burn away. When you stand before God, he is not going to ask you, were you a good person? Did you have a good reason for ignoring me? You see, he paid the ultimate price on the cross. You said you used to be a Christian, so you know. Jesus paid the ultimate cr uh, price for sin on the cross once and for all, for all that come to him, for all who believe. For all who do not, if you read on, everybody loves to read John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Everybody loves that. That's everybody's feel good verse. But you gotta go on to John 3, 17 through 3, 20, right in the same paragraph where Jesus says, if you love your light more than darkness, you're condemned already. You are condemned. And it is not a good thing to have him who came to save you pronounce curses and condemnation on you but it's the truth and as Jesus said it is the truth that will set you free or it is the truth that will condemn you only his condemnation is not like a little six month or a two year prison sentence his condemnation is for eternity really and you can't even right what's that you're preaching to a rock right now I don't really care what you're saying well that's okay and when you stand before God that's on you. That's not on me. You see, I am under obligation from God to tell you the truth. Because if I don't, then I am in sin. And I care enough about you that you don't go to hell. You can call yourself a rock. You can call yourself whatever you want. I look at you as a young lady with a soul. And a soul that's going to spend eternity in hell. So you could not care. You can act tough. You could try to impress your friends. But the truth of the matter is... All that's going to burn away. It's going to burn away. One more question before I Sure. Uh, why are you protesting in front of a high school? We're not protesting. And what do you call all these signs? This is called exposing the truth. This is not I know a lot of people today abortion. actually believe that exposing is. the truth. This is exactly what abortion is. Go do my research. Yeah, go do uh -huh. your research. How's that? How is this not what abortion is? You think we, we Photoshop little feet and we cut them off the rest of the body? You think I Photoshopped that? Huh? Go ahead. Tell me how much your knowledge is going to... That's impressive too, ma'am. That's impressive too. But even that will burn away. You know, God says that it, to the prideful person, you preach the law. And the law is that thou shalt not murder, even if you have an excuse.